The White House is denying reports that President Obama has reached a decision on troop levels in Afghanistan. But CBS News has learned the administration has settled on a new strategy. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin joins us from the Pentagon with the tales. David, good morning. Good morning, Russ. The president still has more meetings scheduled on Afghanistan, but informed sources uh, tell CBS News he intends to give General Stanley McChrystal most, if not all, the additional troops he is asking for. McChrystal wanted 40,000, and the president has tentatively decided to send four combat brigades plus thousands more support troops. All the president's military advisors have recommended sending more troops. But they also have warned that alone will not win the war unless Afghan President Karzai cleans up his government. The first combat troops would not arrive until early next year, and it would be the end of 2010 before they were all there. That makes this Afghanistan surge very different from the Iraq surge, in which 30,000 troops descended on Baghdad and the surrounding area in just five months. The buildup would be expected to last about four years. Added to the 68,000 Americans already there, that means there would be 100,000 U.S. troops in Afghanistan by the end of the president's first term. Now, now, White House spokesman Robert Gibbs insists the president has not made a final decision on troop numbers. The president leaves for uh, China later this week, and he is not expected to announce his decision until after he returns. Russ? David Martin at the Pentagon. Thank you very much.